and you look at the trees right now, this is what the trees look like. <laughs> These are the colors. Hello, hello there, wig friends. Welcome back to my channel. I am Nikki, and I am really happy that you are here. If you love wig reviews, this is definitely the right place for you. I bring you a ton of wig reviews, and I also don't have a set schedule, therefore you never know when I'm gonna pop one up at you, so that is why you're gonna to wanna to subscribe. Join the party, as I always say, click the button down below to do so, and if you have done so already, thank you. I greatly do appreciate it. So, of course, wig review time today. You know I'm talking about this girl right here, like fire. So I naturally have a lot to say about her. I will tell you all of the important deets. And in return, please go down in the comments and give me your respectful feedback. And since too that I have a lot to say about her, you're definitely gonna wanna watch all the way through so you don't miss any of those details. And also too, if there's a wig you'd like me to review, just let me know and I will happily look into it for you. But uh, I might as well not waste any more time and get on with who she is. And today I have got Vicky, and she is from Zuri Sis. She is an HD lace front and I have her in the color FFT Ginger Light, which happens to be the same color you see there on the stock card. They also show a picture of the back on the back of the stock card. And also this is where you're gonna find the other colors that she comes available in. So if you wanna pause and zoom in on it, there it is. Uh, some of her other features, it says here that she has a feathered layered style a five and a half inch deep tie, uh, lace type part, and uh, she's heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I picked her up from Shop Hair Wigs for $37.49. And for my eyeshadow look today, I am wearing the Chocolate Martini Palette from Glamlight. So of course, you know, I always open them for you so you can see what the shades are all about. So there is that. And then I am also wearing just a little bit of the face sprinkles from Designer Dust Co. as well. I've been using these a lot lately. All right, so a Miss Vicky here. She's also a brand new drop, uh, but I really wanted to get her in this specific color. I mean, it's fall for some reason. You know, I wanted to get a fall color. And I mean, if you think about it, and you look at the trees right now, this is what the trees look like. <laughs> These are the colors. I love that. She's very vibrant. Like I said, fire, lots of flames going on here. But I really do not like the roots. So first of all, I knew that she had darker roots. Uh, you can kind of tell it from the photo anyway, but it doesn't really show much detail. So I was not quite expecting the roots to be this dark and this harsh. So it looks like a 1B and you can see it just goes down way too far. So in this case, it looks like a ton of outgrowth. Now, normally with the darker roots, they wanna give you that professional looking ombre, but this just looks like you forgot to go to the salon for a while. So I'm not liking that. I think that it would have been better if it was just up here or especially maybe a number four for the color. I think this is just too dark, but the rest of the color though, yeah. You gotta love that. It just really pops. I love that. I think it's gorgeous. So you have these different tones of red in here. Um, so deeper copper, brighter red, and then you have kind of like this 
orangey tone right there. So I think that's really pretty and a great color combination. So it gives you that gorgeous contrast. And that looks professional. Just, of course, not the roots. Beautiful luster. Uh, sometimes these uh, types of colors can look a little wiggy with the shine. So therefore it looks more like a costume wig, but that's not the case with her. The uh, luster looks very natural and healthy. Uh, texture is more of a good balance of silkiness and coarseness, which I normally describe as a light yakky, and that's why I pretty much tell you what that balance is like, or if it's leaning more in one direction. Um, but super soft, the hair feels realistic, and I also do think that this is a good multicultural texture. Uh, for her length, oh gosh, let me see here. I'd probably say maybe 18 inches, 16 to 18. Yeah, we'll, we'll kind of give a couple inches of leeway there. Uh, but she's right past the shoulders here. And then of course she has that layered feathered look. So she has these beautiful layers. I do love how um, it is feathered and swoop and everything. I love a swoop. Uh, normally I prefer a center part, but when you do have a side part, I love it when it's a dramatic looking swoop. And I do like this one. I think it's very beautiful. Uh, and thankfully too, it's not hitting my eye, especially if you wear falsies like me, it can be even more distracting and uncomfortable when it's constantly hitting your eye. But not at all with her, so I do like that. Um, the style itself, I can't think of the name. It's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to try to remember it, and if I can, I will put it up here on the screen, and if I can't remember it, then you won't see it. <laughs> anyway, she does remind me of another style. I can't think of it again, but um, I do see some similarities with that, um, but the color really sets it apart. So um, she has really good density too. I do like that. So this is more of a natural look um, for that with the um, body and movement and volume. She's very lightweight. You can see she, she balances really nice. Um, but let me go ahead and show you what she looks like from the back. So I do like it, just like it shows here on the photo. I think that's really pretty because then you have those waves coming together to kind of look like curls. So that is gorgeous. But of course, too, let me put her back here. If you wear it down the back, then you're going to have this flap in here, which might be a little annoying because then it just kind of sticks out like that. <laughs> so it just depends on your preference. Um, now, one good thing is she doesn't really tangle, so let me just run my fingers through here for you. And this is all I'm doing uh, with this unit. I don't feel that I really need to use a brush or a wide tooth comb. I mean, you could, of course, if you wanted to. A round brush could be your friend with a style like this, just to uh, keep that uh, feathered layer going there. But uh, she is slightly high maintenance only because Sometimes you do have to tidy her up to get her to stay in her natural shape uh, because it will kind of flop down. Um, and things like, you know, stick out like I was describing before. So that can be a little annoying. But for the most part, she stays in place or at least bounces right back. But she is one you might need to check up on a little bit here and there. But I do think that this style is great for a ton of occasions. Great work style. Just even a little bit of class to her. It just depends on the color you get her in. Because I think a color like this, it depends on where you work, really. Um, and your uh, aesthetic. But um, I definitely do think the style is great for so many different things. Uh, she's not really shedding either. I'm really happy with that. And I'm not the greatest fan of this parting space. I just think it's a little too tight, but it's still not bad if you get my drift. So let me just kind of show you what I mean here. So I do think that the depth is perfect, but again, I just think the width could be opened up a little bit more just because of the style. Um, it just looks like it's meant to be a little wider that's all 
but she was easy to blend with some powder. Thankfully, she's laying very flat to the head, which of course is very important with a lace front or a lace part. Um, and then, let me show you her hairline here. First of all, she has some baby hairs. I don't mind the baby hairs because to me this looks more natural just with the way I prefer to wear them. Um, and then going along with the hairline here, I think it um, all looks really good together. She's not pre-plucked, but I don't mind this hairline right there. I think I have most certainly seen worse. And then the edges here, let me just kind of fix this here. Um, obviously still a little thick. You have some lift up, but you can see that curvature and shape there of the edges, which is perfect to cover up your own natural edges. And then this side I'll show you, here's where you have a little bit more lift up, which can be problematic. And I'll show you here in a second as to why. But again, you have the same thing going on there. And that's because this side I've noticed is the one that I do have to kind of futz with a little bit more. So whenever I'm trying to do that, I go like this, you can see that lift up happening right there. So um, of course, not everybody's going to notice it, but if you're doing it often or you're around a bunch of people, then it might become noticeable. So to avoid that, of course, just put a little bit of got to be glued or some type of other adhesive tape, whatever suits your fancy, just to keep that down. But um, otherwise, she is super comfortable and I do also think she's larger head friendly. So I don't mind the style. Again, it's just the color with the roots that I have an issue with, but you can always get her in different colors. So I am still gonna go ahead and recommend her. She is not bad. I think a lot of people would definitely like to wear this style for different occasions. So that's how I feel about it. But please make sure you tell me down in the comments what you think. I do love to hear your feedback. Uh, but otherwise, I really have nothing more to say on her. Again, I just keep it to the point that you need to know why waste any more time. But please let me know if you did already pick her up. I'd like to know what color you have her in and how you feel about her now that you have her. And also please be sure to let me know if you decide to go pick her up after watching this review. And again, that's it. <laughs> so I will get you next time in my next video. So until then, bye-bye.